and welcome to my Wednesday and I just wanted to show you Izzy's Lego Orchid because she finished it yesterday when she was kind of off sick. It's beautiful actually. I know it's Lego and it's plastic but ah, sweet. I'm starting the vlog at five to two because I just haven't done anything interesting enough to vlog about. I've been hanging laundry out, setting the dishwasher off, a little bit of washing up, washing my hair, having a bath and getting the vlog up basically. That's all I've done. Oh and I had a lie in. I have been feeling really tired these last few days so I've been trying to get up a little bit later just to you know catch up on sleep a bit. So we got up at 9 15 today. I need to eat some lunch. Mind you I think I better put that orchid back first so it doesn't get you know cooking-y. It's actually an absolutely beautiful day out there. The sun is shining, it is a little bit overcast, well it is the UK, you know, but I have to say, I, if you're watching from outside the UK, it's been very mild lately, I haven't had the heating on for days and days, and when my parents arrived here on Monday before I did, they had to open all the windows because it was 24 degrees in the kitchen just from the sun shining on the house without the heating on, so that's, that's pretty unusual I think. As nice as the day is, I'm not sure if I'm going out. I might go to B&M later, I've got this idea that I really want to do a bit of a stock take of my bedding and decide what really ought to go in the bin now, because it's just so many decades old and smelling musty. <laughs> uh, so I might do that later if I get time to be an M's. But other than that, I'm, I'm gonna be home all day. I've got three things to prepare for this weekend. Something for Friday, something for Saturday, something for Sunday. And I need to get to work on those because it's already Wednesday because I pretty much lost yesterday, obviously to the doctors. A huge proportion of the day was taken up with that so I've just I've kept calm and just shunted it onto today. So I'm gonna make a start with that but first of all I need to make myself some lunch because otherwise I'm gonna be fading away. I'm still working my way through these rather delicious pre-made tortillas from Lidl's. I think they're absolutely lush personally. They're the ones I bought for a family meal on Monday and there's still loads left. So I'll probably have a bit of that, let's just cover that for now. The hummus needs eating too so I'll have a bit of that and well the tortilla is quite carby and proteiny because it's got egg and potato in it so if I just do some other veg on the side with it I think that'll be a nice balanced meal. I think I'll saute some tomatoes, pepper and courgette with a bit of garlic and stuff like that and uh, just have it on the side with it. Do you know I'm due a filling in a few weeks time. I had a filling that crumbled a bit, a bit came out of it and if I bite into anything cold like a bit of this pepper or something as I'm chopping it up it hurts. So I'm kind of looking forward to having the filling in a strange kind of way. Sliced mushrooms are going in. That's smelling amazing. Mm. And I'm going to microwave a bit of this because my poor teeth, I can't cope with the cold. Well, tooth. Here's my lunch. I'm back at my desk again now. I think I'm going to sneeze. No, I'm not going to sneeze. I've made myself a coffee and I've got a little job to do now. I am going to sort out my set list for Friday. I've been sent a set list, actually. I'll show it to you. So I've been sent this list of repertoires, a mixture of songs and tunes. Now, basically, I need to be playing the tunes, so I need to make sure that I know them, and I probably do. I don't know what Far From Home is. I know how that one goes and that one goes. I don't know how Humours of Glen Dark goes. I mean, I do. I know it, but I don't know how it goes, because there's so many hundreds of them. I don't know which ones they are. So I'm going to do a little bit of Googling of the tune names, work out which ones they are, and just make my own list where I just handwrite the first couple of notes, like, the first couple of bars so that when I read that because I can hear it in my head when I see the dots on the page it'd be like D -d 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 and I'll be like oh yeah and then I'm off I can I know which one it is it's like putting the tune name for me it's kind of so that's what I'm going to spend some time doing now and then when I've done that I'll be able to go down and practice them aha uh -huh, definitely gonna have to learn that one the lonesome boatman I definitely don't know that one I know that I don't know it <laughs> This is what I've decided to do, which is a little random, I think, but um, I've decided to just paste in screen captured manuscripts. So I'm going to print it out and hand write it in now because it'll be so much quicker than typing it all in. Oh, here we go. The usual. Ugh. You have to turn it off at the wall and back on again. And then it kind of wakes up and then it does your printing for you, even though it was on. It's just a weird, let's see, it has to do that first. It's, it's a quirk of the beast. I've still got laundry lying around everywhere. I put loads away yesterday, but I've got more drying as well. I've got it draped around on chairs. This was almost dry, so I wouldn't put like really wet stuff on wooden chairs, but it was just like, you know, in the creases, it was a little bit damp, so. Anyway, I'm just passing the time with you while my printing thing comes out. Oh, here it is. Marvellous. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm gonna have fun with that. <laughs> I do love having my little brain waves. Let's see if this works out as an effective way of doing things. Oh yeah, I know what that one is. <laughs> see, I know them, it's just I wouldn't know what they are, right? Do you know what I think is going to happen when my daughter moves out and we go through all her stuff? 
I think all my pairs of scissors are going to turn up. She flipping loves scissors. She might not be guilty on this occasion of coming and pinching my scissors. I might have put them in my pencil case and accidentally left them at my boyfriend's, so I'm not going to blame her this time. But I just thought I'd share that thought with you. She loves scissors. I, yeah, I just printed it out off the internet. I'm going to learn it. Um, uh, it's a slowy, apparently. I've got a feeling that the person who wants to play this should probably play it on his own with just like guitarists and bassists and things rather than lots of people trying to play the melody because I think it's a slow air with like one of these pulled about rhythms so I think it might just make it really messy if we all try to join in however I will have a crack at learning it just in case he's gonna do it in a really straight rhythm because you will never know <laughs> in the meantime kitchen scissors to the rescue I know it's a bit old school cutting it out and gluing it on but I am old school and I like being old school. Oh I've put you on a wobbly table. Oh sorry you're getting wobbled. There you go you're back on the other one now. I'm being very time consuming about this but I'm taking the greatest of pleasure in doing it too. <laughs> A lot of fuss for something I probably won't end up playing because it'll be better off if he just plays it on his own, but oh well. People quite often ask for the Lonesome Boatman and it's just something I've never um, even really heard before, but it's one of those things that people say, oh, can you do the Lonesome Boatman? And we're like all shrugging and saying, what's that? There, I have a practice list. I'm going to go and practice it. And then when I finish that one, I'm going to have a little break and hopefully start practicing the stuff for Saturday's gig, which is a completely different set of repertoire. And for Sunday, I don't need to practice anything, but I need to do some research because on Sunday I am going to be doing this comparing that I, I randomly volunteered to do when asked. Uh, it's not a paid thing, it's just, just doing it as a favour, but apparently you need to research a bit about the bands you're introducing and just give a few quick facts. I was a bit nervous about it, so I, I uh, messaged a friend of mine who does a lot of comparing and has done it for decades and he gave me some advice. He said, don't talk for too long, nobody wants to hear the MC going on and on, they want to hear the band, so keep it brief, but do a little bit of research. He said, make notes on your programme. Well, I haven't got a programme, so I'll just, I'll make notes just anyway. Uh, he said, introduce yourself to the bands when you get there ask them if there's anything specific they would like to say and uh, also I said do I need to do like fire eggs and stuff like that he says usually not unless you're specifically asked to so there we are <laughs> this is what I've learned in the last couple of days I'm gonna go practice now and not film it and I will talk to you when I've finished practicing because it's, it's likely to be a bit of a long stint hopefully I get time to do the bedding thing later I'd like to do that it's getting a bit late though it's going on for four now I'm back upstairs in my room I practiced for an hour actually now this mountain is where it's about tidied up tidied tidied up the uh, duvets and pillows for me and that there is the spare mattress now I need to put a dust sheet over that because it stays there all the time it's just where it lives it was lovely having it gone actually I felt like I had a much more spacious bedroom but anyway I uh, haven't got anywhere else to put it so I'm gonna just give these a wreck it I mean look at the state of that mm, actually I don't even want you to look that closely because I'm a bit embarrassed but it needs this one definitely it's ready for the bin I think it did occur to me maybe some of these things could go through the washing machine and it might give them a new lease of life I don't know right then specimen number one this duvet it smells musty but it's otherwise relatively um stained or anything apart from this orange and I think that's pen you know I think marker pen has seeped through or something like that because look at the shape of it it's very um regular maybe not so much that one but I think I'm going to put this one through the washing machine and see how it comes out before throwing it in the bin so I'll pop that there in the wash. That pillow is definitely going in the bin but I need to make a note of how many I bin because I need to buy new to replace them. Doesn't smell at all. Just a bit musty really where it's been in the loft. I'm gonna try washing it. That's not to say I'm definitely keeping it. I'm gonna wash it, see how it comes out, give it a sniff, give it a poke and a prod and we'll see. Ugh, so that's going on there as well. That's it for that pile. She's also been stuffing them in this cupboard. She said, is that up there? No, that's not it. That's just bedding. Oh yeah, oh yeah, pillow just wedged up against the cloves. What's that? Oh yeah, more. Now look how yellow that is. Ugh. Ugh. I mean, that's just age, I think. Got any more? Ooh. Excuse me. Yes, we have more. Got one here. This is Izzy's tidying up. This is out of sight, out of mind. Oh yeah, two more pillows down here. This purple one's not that old. It was an Ikea one. It came with a duvet. A purple duvet. Oh, we've got more. That's got yellow stain on it. 
that's super old that one and very thin pretty useless as a pillow it's just so thin really <laughs> any more for any more i can't even remember what's down there there's an antique rocking chair it belongs to my friend but he's forgotten i've had it and i've had it for all of his mild life so I'll see if he wants it. I think you can get an indicator of the age of the pillow when the label is completely worn off with age. <laughs> that one looks pretty old as well. I'm, I'm going to bin most of the pillows and buy new pillows, I think. Oh, well, I might be able to put through the wash. It was, it's not that old. It's so thin. It's like, I don't know. It's, it's a really squishy one. It's not a very nice pillow, but I think it might go through the washing machine. I don't know. It's drying them, isn't it? Pillows, they're great big lumps. So I don't really know. Oh, this was an Ikea one, and it does say machine wash at 60. I don't know if my machine will cope with it. It's quite big. I've got quite a big machine, though. It's a bigger capacity than my boyfriend's one, for example. All it smells of is just old, just, like, dusty. That's what it smells like. It doesn't smell offensive in any way, just just old. Just as if it's been, you know, in the attic, which it has. And it's been wrapped up in plastic bags, tight, you know, airtight. Right, I need to go out because the shop's going to shut. So I'll just quickly make a note. I'm only going to buy pillows today because there's only so much I can carry. And dishwasher tablets. I love living in a town, I have to say. So I'm back in my favourite place again. <laughs> 20p for Welsh cakes. Well, I'm not going to get them because I don't really, um, I'm not that bothered. Izzy would have had them if she'd have been here. 20p for a loaf of bread. See, again, I won't eat it. And there's no room in my freezer for it. So I don't have to leave it. Goodbye bargain, leaving it in the shop. I was just reflecting on all the sort of shopping eras I've had in my life, especially when my daughter went through a different sort of developmental stages. And there were things that we'd buy all the time and now we just don't even look at really, like freeze pops, for example, and cartons of chocolate milk or strawberry milk is there anything you used to buy a lot of like really really regularly that you just don't get anymore or you forgot about maybe i was about to grab these 100 finished tablets for 9.99 and i noticed these one for eight pound 110 for eight pound okay get those oh god blimey they're heavy i feel a bit weird i wonder if they're okay inside they're kind of bulgy Oh, I expect they're fine. I can always bring them back. You see these scrubbing things? They're like bendy silicone thingies. Well, I bought some to try and I wasn't that impressed by them. Like cleaning, trying to get hard baked on stuff off pans and that. And I thought, oh, they're not that great. But then the other day I had to clean out my compost bin and it was bogging, absolutely disgusting. And I thought, oh, I'll just use something I'm not like passionate about and then I'll throw it away afterwards rather than have to take the mank out of it. Anyway, I used one of those and it just washed straight away, washed straight out under the tap. So that's an advantage of that. It just cleans straight away. Well, I don't know about cheese or something, but compost mank, it did. I think if I'd been using like one of the traditional scourers or something with bristles, like a brush, I think it would have been, you know, stuck in there and need washing out. But yeah, that, that cleans really easily. Need washing up liquid, actually. This looks like it's gonna be the cheapest. It is washing up liquid, isn't it? I'm not sure. <laughs> That'll be a no. It's drain unblocker. I thought so when I saw sink drain plug hole. Right, in that case I'm going to go for this one. I don't use loads of it because honestly most things go in the dishwasher now. I've just realised I know nothing about pillows. I've been stood here for ages with the camera off trying to work out what to get. Well, 16 quid for two firm support ones. Okay, don't know. Bounce back, 14 quid for two. Uh, that rebound night after night. I suppose that sounds good. And what, those are duvets. These are pillows, eight pound for two. So that's a lot cheaper, isn't it? Are they any good? Suitable for allergy sufferers. Lady said they've had a real rush on pillows today, so that's a coincidence, isn't it? What's that one? £12 for two, thermal, nice and warm, extra quilted pillow pair. I'm happy to spend a bit more on bedding, to be honest. Pillows, bedding, mattress, you know, because you spend so much time in it and it affects your next day if you've had a good night's sleep. So I'm tempted to get the expensive ones, but I don't know if that's because they're actually better off. It's just marketing, I don't know. I know, let's give them a squish. Well, they're very squishy and boingy. They feel like there's a lot of air in them. These are the bounce back ones. Oh, and they feel better. They do feel denser. I mean, it's down to everybody's personal taste, isn't it? They feel like they're all air in that one. I don't want to get those ones. I'm thinking these. Let's give these a squish. Well, these do feel proper firm. I think they might be a bit high for my neck, to be honest. Mmm. Oh. What about the thermal ones? Oh, no, that's a duvet. <laughs> Pillow pair. So they feel like they're all air. I'm going to go for the bounce back. I'm just going to get one. I'm going to try them. One packet of two. Try them. And if I think they're good, 
get some more like that. I noticed this will be for another day, but they got bed linen as well. They got all these fitted sheets, doubles and king size. They're nine pound. Those eight pound for the double, single six pound. Yeah, they feel nice. Linen, I think it said. Yeah, nice, just plain ones. Pillowcases, four pound for two. Oh, I'm quite excited to, you know, read all my bedding. <laughs> Why do I always like the children's duvet sets better than the adults ones? That looks fun. Oh, map of the world with animals, seven pound for children though probably a little one I don't know well it says single duvet seven pound for the single duvets 12 pound for the doubles 14 pounds for the kings so somewhere I could come together they've got all these fancy textured ones as well though this wouldn't be my cup of tea okay it feels not too bad but that wouldn't be my cup of tea that's a king size one for 25 pound that's 20 pound for a double uh yeah you can see the range of prices there 20 quid etc 15 pound for that no see i don't like that it's too bumpy i want a nice smooth one ones i like are the flannelette ones if i'm honest i think that's why i've hung on to the ones i've got for so 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 long uh because i like the texture of them I think it's flannelette, I think that's what you call it. Anyway, I'm going to go and pay now and go home. Oh, look what's reduced to clear. £2.50 for a friend's latte mug. Not for me, obviously. That's going in the uni box. I am absolutely sure she's going to love it. Isabel peeped in here the other day. <laughs> she wanted to put something in. She wanted to put her latte spoons in and she spied those and apparently uh, she was quite pleased about that. There's no room for this in there, is there? We'll have to start another one. Well, I guess it can just go on top for now, can't it? So it's not sealed up. This towel is just here to keep the dust off, by the way. Because I'm wondering, it's not part of it. I'm going to give one of these a go. <laughs> I can't get a grip on it. Oh, that fresh pillow smell. Hoppla. Let's pop a pillowcase on, shall we? One of my freshly laundered ones. It's quite comfy. I've sunk quite a long way down into it, but this bit's like still sticking up either side of my ears, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I think I quite like it. Yeah, feels quite different to the other one I've had. It's a lot springier and there's quite a bit of depth to it, but you go down into it rather than be like, you know, you actually do sink. That was very long winded. <laughs> that was my review of this pillow. We'll have to see tomorrow if I've got a stiff neck though from the difference. Oh, I feel I could just go to sleep now, have a little afternoon nap. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Hmm. It is now 20 past six and I'm being incredibly lazy by cooking pasta and green beans in the same pan. This is what you can do when there's just one of you, see? Oh yes. And I'm gonna pan fry that bit of tuna to have with it. I've had a text which has thrown me into pandemonium. No, it's fine actually. Um, might not be able to do the comparing on Sunday. It's a logistical reason, basically, to do with my other half's work and not being able to get there in time together in his car, i.e. I need a lift or I can't do it, basically, because I'll be staying with him and he lives in such a remote place. It would be an absolute public transport nightmare to try and get there in time and be very expensive. So anyway, I've spoken to the lady and she's fine about it. She said she'll have somebody else on standby and I should know by tomorrow afternoon whether we can get there or not. Anyway, um, uh, I was going to see if those dishwasher tablets were all right because they looked a bit dodgy, you know, the reduced to clear ones. What do we reckon? Look, it's a bit bulgy looking. Look at that. It looks like, I don't know, <laughs> not good. Have I taken one step too far with my bargain hunting? One way to find out. It's got wet, I think, this box, you know, judging by the cardboard. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, oh, I'm wrecking the box. Oh, they're in, oh, they're in plastic. Well, they'll be fine then. I thought they'd be like the ones that don't have the wrapping on. No problem, it's just the box has got wet. Well, I have got a bargain, I'm pleased with that. I always decant them into a thing. That's how many I had left, <laughs> down to the last couple. Um, put them there for now. Oh, I think one of them was a bit leaky. Obviously, if you've got a household where young children are, you need to keep these out of reach of them and not have them accessible because they could try to eat them and do themselves some harm. <laughs> well, this is going to be my dinner, not all of it. I'll save some of the pasta and beans for tomorrow, probably. There's the tuna nestled in there. Looking forward to that. If you enjoyed today's video, could you please give it a little like if you'd like to help my channel to grow. If you're new here and would like to watch more videos from me, do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!